Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna go ahead and move all the coral, at least uh, some of the coral, from my old tank into the new one. Now I have jumped the gun just a little bit. Um, as you can see, obviously there's a few coral in the tank already. Uh, but I just put some in there just to test it. I did also empty my sump into here. So the kind of frag tank that was down there is now in here. Uh, just made it nice and neat. Uh, this one, number one, I wanted to get the tank, the frag tank on the sump in there first. Uh, just so I can clear out the bottom and then secondly uh, all these little tiles that are coming from that tank have a little bit of like biodiversity in them so of course if I uh, take everything and I throw it in there it's gonna kind of bring in you know some of those microbes from that more established tank uh, to kind of help this tank out so that's kind of the reason I did that and it's good to know that my tank is coral ready uh, as you can see, everything is opening up. Uh, it's all been in there for a few days already. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and move some of the coral over. Now we're gonna do this in kind of a two-step process. Uh, basically what's going to happen is uh, we're going to go ahead and grab like a little tub, as you see here, fill it with some water and our dip of choice today is going to be the new Red Sea dip. We're going to go ahead and try that out, see how it works out. Uh, but we're going to take some of the coral from the old tank, move it into the new tank, I mean and move it into this tub right here to kind of dip it to get some of these bristle worms which I really hate away. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and move that, uh, the corals from this tank into the new one. So the plan as far as moving the corals go, um, we're going to go ahead and start off with just these Zoba colonies. Uh, so I have a few here and there. We're going to move those first and kind of see how they do. Um, after that, we'll do some of the LPS. I'm going to be moving all the SPS stick corals last, um, so we won't touch those anytime soon. Um, I just want a lot of these other rocks to get into the tank first and build up that uh, biodiversity so it'll kind of help and then um, for the most part once uh, every once we get to maybe like the LPS corals I'll start moving the fish over last just because uh, they're kind of hard to catch right now with so many coral in the tank but we'll uh, go ahead and get started I'll be right back So we've gone ahead and moved all the corals, or at least the zoas. Uh, this is going to be the one rock in the tank that's specifically for zoas. Uh, I'm not going to have them go anywhere else because I don't want them to go anywhere else. Uh, just to keep them like non-invasive of any kind. And then it'll make a nice, you know, nice big fat zoa garden. It's just in this little corner here. Uh, one thing to note is the dip is really good. Um, Obviously you can't see it very well. There we go. But it got a lot of bristle worms. And I'm pretty sure that is mostly from the uh, the reef dip, the new one from Red Sea. Not so much the coral revive that I use, because usually there's a few that kind of straggle on there. But this did a really good job at just kind of murdering everything. So we'll go ahead and just wait a little bit, uh, let these guys open up. In that time, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some of the uh, I think we'll get and get some of the Ganeopora into this tank as well, maybe some of the hammers. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move those over as well. Alright, it's been a few hours. I'm still kind of working on moving everything in the tank, but as you can see in the old tank, it's getting there. It's slowly coming apart. Uh, kind of broke the candy cane a little bit as you can see right there unfortunately, but like I said, it's it's getting there, just scooting along. It's kind of hard since obviously I can't walk right now due to my leg, so I'm kind of just on a wheelchair, just kind of going back and forth. But uh, yeah, soon enough we're gonna get a couple of these fish out. Uh, first to go are probably gonna be the clowns, but uh, we'll see. 
All right, I'm so tired. This is kind of the aftermath of uh, everything. Uh, I tried to chisel away with one of the acros and I broke the rock in half. Oh well. Uh, chisel a few pieces away from the pillar. And then uh, what actually happened is I kind of didn't want to take apart this rock. So what I did was um, I just sold the entire rock <laughs> for pretty darn cheap. Uh, but basically this rock and these two are all going to be gone. I will be keeping this rock, but I'm going to just move it last because um, the left side of the rock where the Zoas are, are going to the fish store. And then the one on the right, my big old Ghani, that's going to go in the tank. But I want to remove it from the rock uh, below that has all the clove polyps. So uh, that one needs a little work. Like I said, I'll just do that last. But uh, yeah, pretty much we're just gonna go ahead and grab the fish right now. Um, I'm gonna start with the ones in the sump because those will be super easy to catch. Uh, though I did not think about the fact that I removed the light there, so I'll be kind of fishing in the dark a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, but we're going to slowly go ahead and try to capture all these fish, or at least the clownfish for today. Uh, that should be pretty easy, because they um, they actually, they're okay with my hand. They'll pretty much swim right up to it, so those will be the easiest to catch. The other ones I can wait till tomorrow once more of the rock is gone. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab these guys. So it's the next morning. I pretty much have all the, all of everything on. Uh, last but not least, later today, the guy who I'm selling the rocks to is gonna pick up all the, uh, all the rocks, with the exception of this guy right here. Um, today, right now, we, as you can see, I kind of have it sectioned off. Uh, I just used one of the screen lids. It's made aluminum. It's fine. I'll just wash it off later. But uh, I have all the fish on one side and they can't escape. So we're gonna just go ahead and crawl them into the net and get them over to the new tank. guys it's been one hell of a night but uh i actually had somebody pick up the tank already as well we've gotten just all that gone it's super late i'm super tired but uh we'll wait until the uh next episode i'll give you guys a tour of the uh, new tank but like always thank you guys for watching it's been super tiring and i'll see you guys on the next one